I'm a 70 year old artisan who's been working with the medium for the past 45 years. Learned my craft in Park Slope. Uh, walking down the street, saw a sign, law for rent, $125. This was about two years after I had taken a stained glass class. I figured, you know, I should be able to afford that. And six months after I opened, I realized I didn't know what I was doing, but you know, people were, were bringing me windows that I was taking them apart and putting them back together again. That's how I learned. Initially, I fell in love with the process. You know, it's a, there's a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you move on to the next piece, you know. So it's always something new. It's always something challenging. There's always something new to learn about it. Um, it it's been uh, a, a passion and a love affair since you know, 1974 when I opened I kind of call this a full-service shop where we do restoration work, we do commission work, I do a lot of fusing, I do the art show circuit, I teach. My students have been with me for 10, 12, 15 years. I, I bring new people in. Well, I teach the basics, you know. Everybody does a basic flower to learn the process, to learn how to cut glass. I mean, since you were born, you were told to stay away from the broken glass. Here I'm telling you to break the glass in your hands, you know, and I mean, there's resistance to all that. But once you get past that fear, there's the challenge. And, and since it's something that can hurt you, you have to concentrate on it while you're working on it. A lot of people find this relaxing because you're not thinking about all the stuff that's going on. You know, you're concentrating on a, a particular you know, process that you're working on. Well, I started in Brooklyn. I basically tripped into Park Slope, not knowing that I was walking into the brownstone capital of the world. It was at the peak of that era that the, the, all the windows were being built to these brownstones. That was part of the process of, of learning, and, you know, taking windows apart and putting them back together again. Frames, how to deal with framing. I originally went to School of Visual Arts to do advertising. And, and then they brought in Jerry Delafamina and all the heavy hitters, and they sat on these chairs, you know, turned around with their big wide mod ties, and they really were the madmen. I never liked the corporate world. Uh, I was never much of a business person. And on a whim, somebody said, why don't you take a stained glass class? You might like it. So, yeah, it sounds like something to do, a plan. And, and literally on a whim, I took a stained glass class and the first piece of glass I cut, I said, oh, I could do this. And I kind of like saw this, this path of, you know, not having to deal with corporate America. I mean, I could create my own little world, so to speak. The third piece of glass I made, I saw it immediately went into, you know, production. Towards the 80s, I got a kiln. I started playing with fused glass and my passion for it just ignited all over again because now you can do plates, platters, I mean, you can fuse windows. I mean, I'm, it's just endless what you can do with glass. I want people to know that I have a passion about what it is that we do here. And it's not for the money that I'm here. It's, it's for the, the love of the craft. Uh, spread goodwill about what it is that stained glass is about.